Hello and welcome. In uh, today's uh, video, I want to talk about the all function. Um, it's used extensively uh, in Power BI and not just all, all, all selected, all except. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it. Uh, I keep getting a lot of questions from my clients with regards to it. So, so let's just dig in. Uh, so here uh, you're seeing uh, the standard like a dashboard in a day data set. Uh, if you're not aware of what dashboard in a day it, uh, data set is, is basically sales data uh, by product, by date, and by geography. Um, so we have sales data, we have a product dimension, uh, manufacturer dimension, and uh, a geography dimension. Now, if I uh, go to the modeling section of this, uh, you see that there's a one to many relationship between geography and sales, between product and sales as well, and then there's a one to many between manufacturer and product. Now, before jumping into what all function is, let's let's talk a little bit about this relationships here. Now, you see that if there is a if there's a relationship between two tables, there's a arrow indicator here. Now, the arrow indicates the direction of filter, right? So for example, if I, uh, in this example, if, uh, if I filter, uh, have a slicer from the manufacturer uh, table, it's going to filter the product table, which in turn is going to filter the sales table. Now here you see if I if uh, let's say I pick one particular manufacturer, right? So sales table is filtered to that particular manufacturer, but the but that doesn't mean it's going to be filtered uh, filter of geography, right? So if that if that manufacturer sells only in let's say uh, a particular state in the U.S., right? Let's say this sell only in New York, but the geography table is not automatically. Uh, filter down to New York because it's a one-to-many relationship and the arrow flows from geography to sales and not from sales to geography. So that's uh, that's kind of the background of how how you slice the data, how you filter the data. This arrow is important, which direction the arrow goes. Uh, obviously, if you uh, now with Power BI, you can you can uh, have the uh, have many to many relationship and also you can have the uh, and also you can have the option of uh, cross filtering in both direction so depending on your model so make sure you you know which direction the filters are flowing uh, now that's a good background to see what happens with uh, when you do all all selected things along those lines now here I have uh, total sales this is the total sales for this data set, uh, it is, uh, and I have disabled this uh, uh, interaction between any of the slicers, so this this will just be the total sales. Uh, this number is not going to change, and we're going to work on this table here. Now, what I've selected is just the manufacturer list of manufacturer and the sales, right? If I highlight this table and go to this metrics, metrics is my uh, is my uh, folder where I have all my measures. In, uh, so all of them are in one place kind of, it's uh, nice to have all the measures in one place. So all the sales is doing is a sum of revenue, right? So I'm getting, man, uh, for each manufacturer, I'm getting the sales. Now, what if I filter this to just uh, filter this uh, page to a few uh, manufacturers? Now, as I filter it, you'll see that my sales amount changes based on my slicers. Now this uh, manufacturer uh, slicer comes from the manufacturer table. Now, one of the questions I, I get asked is, okay, I want to now get the, maybe maybe I want to ratio. I want, uh, this is my total sales uh, for the selected manufacturers, but I still want a way to see the total sales. So I can maybe uh, uh, divide this number, maybe what percent of, uh, this manufacturer Natura's uh, sales is, um, you know, compared to the full total sales, what, what is the percent of Natura's sales? So to do that, we can use all function. Now, what this does is it calculates sales and I'm using all manufacturer. So what that does is it is now removing any of the 
filters or slicers that's applied on the manufacturer table. So if I bring this measure in, let's see what happens. So I get the total sales, which is this total sales here on top, you see in the card. So the manufacturer uh, filters are taken out, right? So what happened is if I go back to the model view, um, when I said all manufacturer, any slicer or filter that was applied to this table was taken out. So now uh, it flows through and removes any um, uh, any filters that's applied to sales, and I'm getting the total sales. So this the so in each row I get my total sales, and I can uh, divide these new numbers to get the ratio, like how much of natural sales is compared to all the manufacturers, right? Now what happens if I add uh, maybe a state uh, slicer, right? Let's say I pick a couple of states here. This number changes. It's not the total sales because uh, what happened was in our all manufacturer, we said just remove the uh, filters that are applied to the manufacturer table. But here we have some filters on the state table. So what this is giving me is the total sales for all the uh, across across all uh, for across all the manufacturer. This all manufacturer metric or measure is giving me the total sales across all manufacturers. Uh, for those selected states. To validate this, let's say I, now this is, I took out the all manufacturers, now I'm seeing all the manufacturers and this is for these two states, this is my sales. All right, so that's how all works. Okay, let's let's bring back, uh, let's, let me put these filters back. Now, what is all selected, right? We have all selected, so I have a, Another measure here, which is basically calculating sales for all selected manufacturers. So if I bring this um, measure into my table, what number does that show? Now that is showing basically the sum of these three selected manufacturers. So what this did, did was, it, it all selected does was, it basically sums up the sales um, for all the selected manufacturers. So, uh, whereas all was removing the filters completely, whereas this is giving me uh, as a sum, in this case, sum for only the selected ones. So this way I can now, maybe I want the, um, I want the ratio of uh, sales for Natura for just all, when I compare these three selected manufacturer, what is my percent of sales? Now I can divide my sales with the all selected manufacturer and get get the percent, right? So that's the difference between all and all select. One more thing I want to show is all. Now, if I want, if I add this, um, now previously I had added all to the manufacturer table. Now, what happens if I add um, the all to the sales table, right? This is my actual fact table. Right? What happens if I add uh, all to that. So let's bring that measure into this table and see what happens. See, now what you're seeing is the total sales, which ma matches this card visual. It's the total sales across all your data, right? So when you put all, it's now taking out or taking out the filters that's applied to manufacturer and state. Right? So if I go back to the model view, it's taking out the filters applied here here, anywhere, any any of the filters taking out and basically saying, okay, remove all the filters from the sales table, show me, uh, and then sum the sales, sum the revenue, give me the sales. So that's what this does. So that's that's a slight difference there, right? Compared to adding it to the manufacturer where it's you're, you're removing only for that particular dimension, whereas here you're removing all the filters. And the last thing I wanna talk about is this all selected. Now what happens if I apply all selected to um, the sales table, let's bring that in. Now that's um, similar to the all selected manufacturer here uh, because it's now showing me uh, basically sales for all the selected slicers. So I have slicers on manufacturer and uh, state. Now if I remove all the, uh, clear out the manufacturer slicer, now it's basically giving me sales for the selected states. So hope that kind of gives you an idea of what all all selected and where you apply it. When you apply it to the fact table, what happens? When you apply it to the dimension table, what happens? So hopefully that gives you a clear picture of how uh, these functions work. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to, uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.